Hello and welcome back to Vlogmas mm, episode. I actually don't know. Let me just check. Anyway, hello and welcome back. This will be Vlogmas episode five. Yes, I had intended on doing a lot more Vlogmas episodes this December, but I think as I said in my previous video, I am working full time and I've just kind of tried not to stress out about making the videos. So I'm just going with the flow and yeah, I decided that I'm in a filming mood today and I thought it would be lovely to film a bit more of a vlog style video. Um, yeah, I've not really been in the mood to film sit down videos, but I do enjoy filming vlog style videos. So before I get into today, of course, if you enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at wit.style and I will leave it somewhere here. Now, with that being said, obviously it's a vlog and chill. Oh, sorry, sometimes I just get so excited to actually film. I'm sat behind, no, I'm sat in front of the Christmas tree. I've actually turned the lights off because you get so much light glare from the Christmas tree and excuse this kind of like mountain that's decided to, to join me ready for Christmas day or I'm hoping it'll go away I don't know anyway it is now Saturday the Saturday before Christmas which is next Saturday so a week until Christmas and I am on the Christmas clean um, if you think the flat is quiet that is because Idris has gone out he's actually gone out on the town um, he's gone out in Doncaster with my dad, my uncles and some of my cousins, well one of my cousins and my cousin's husband. So for like a little family pre-Christmas lads, guys drink thing, um, which they try and do every year but obviously last year was Covid so this year's Covid as well. Never mind, let's not mention the big C. Anyway it's quite in the flat because Idris has gone out so yeah, I'm on the big clean today, so is my mum over in her house, because, well, today's Saturday and Idris is out, tomorrow is the big Christmas food shop day, which maybe I'll insert into this vlog as well, who knows. Then Monday through to Thursday, I am at work, sadly, but I break up for Christmas, break up like I'm at school. <laughs> I break up for Christmas on Thursday. I've taken holidays over the Christmas period, so I'm actually off from Christmas Eve until the 4th of January. Oh my gosh. 11 days of heaven. Amazing! Anyway, Idris's mum, Kathy. Oh, Kathy? Have we said a name on you? I think it's fine. Idris's mum, Kathy, is coming over on Thursday and. Yeah, basically, I don't want to spend my day off on Christmas Eve getting the flat ready because if I've not said before, which I think I have in my previous video, we're hosting Christmas dinner here for myself, Idris, his mum, Kathy, my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, and my granddad. So the flat needs to be like ready for Christmas and I don't want to spend all Christmas Eve cleaning. So today I'm on the big clean whilst Idris is out of my hair and I can just crack on and get it done and then Idris can help me with the final bits tomorrow and we can do the shopping. That is the longest ramble ever. But like I said, I'm just so excited to film today. So yeah, that's an explanation as to what I'm doing today and I'll bring you along. Probably won't insert too many clips of me cleaning because one, that might be a bit boring and two, vlogging is really gonna slow me down today because it takes time to set up the camera and all the behind the scenes, bit, scenes bits. But I just wanted a few things to, I just wanted to share a few things with you, sorry, before I get started on my Christmas clean. So I just wanted to say, cracked out my trusty notebook again and I've written a Christmas cleaning to-do list and I've broken it down into different rooms. So I'm starting with the living room first and then I will crack on with the rest. I've also written down on my phone a Christmas shopping list. How nice is my case, by the way? I recently picked up the new iPhone 
13 Pro Max, which is actually huge. Look how big it is compared to my head. Um, but yeah, I just picked up this case from Amazon and it's so nice. Anyway, I thought that I would share with you my Christmas shopping list. I may insert a picture of it on the screen as well. But yeah, I just thought maybe you'd be interested to know what we're going to have for Christmas dinner. So we're actually having a Christmas starter this year and the options are prawn cocktail or like pate and nice bread. So I popped down prawns, Thousand Island dressing, iceberg lettuce, lemon and nice bread. Um, I should put pate on there as well. It's only because I've already bought the pate, but we'll leave that on there and take it off. Then for Christmas dinner, I've got meat. We're not actually having turkey. Idris has ordered from the butchers beef and a large chicken. So that's already sorted. Pigs in blankets, my absolute fave. We have large pigs in blankets and then Idris also got like this giant pig in blanket. Um, potatoes, roast potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, parsnips, sprouts, cabbage, gravy, stuffing, things for Yorkshire puddings because Idris is gonna make those. That is just like meat and veg heaven especially with the pegs and blankets. For dessert, my mum is going to be making a cheesecake. Hint, hint, quality streets. Yes, um, can't wait to have that cheesecake. I'm going to make homemade cookies or I'm gonna to try to fit it in at some point. And why does that say truffle? Trifle, it's supposed to say trifle. Trifle. Trifle for my granddad because he likes trifles, my mum says. Then I've just popped on for drinks, lemonade, coke, Fanta, and my mum's requested dandelion and burdock, which is great because I like it too. And then I've also put down snack bits, um, depending on how long people are here for, you know, we may need some snack bits. So I put cheese, crackers, chutneys, cheese savouries, crisps and dip, um, another tub of chocolates. We've got quality streets, but I think I may get like a celebrations or a heroes and shortbread biscuits and that is my Christmas food shopping list and then obviously we just need to get bits for the house as well what are your Christmas shopping lists like are you hosting Christmas this year or are you going around to your families I know with the big C people may have changed their plans but we're gonna stick to having Christmas as we planned it and obviously just be careful so yes Next, before we get started, one last thing to show you. And that is Christmas, like prep. I went to Asda the other day um, after work and picked up a Christmas themed tablecloth, some crackers, blah, 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 just bits for Christmas. So I'll just show you them now. I'm not sure if I already showed you or not. But Idris and I also went to Ikea. I'm not sure if I vlogged that or not. I don't think I did. Um, I'll show you those bits in a minute. But anyway, I picked up some tartan napkins. I know maybe tartan's not particularly Christmas, but I have Scottish heritage, so it's a little bit of an ode to that. Picked up some um, paper plates, merry and bright. Obviously I know they're not the best because they're just disposable but I thought they were cute and just for the nibbly bits we will use them and save on the washing up a little bit I guess. We also then picked, oh sorry, I also then picked up two tablecloths. So I wanted a proper like cotton one that you just reuse all the time but they didn't have white and they had bright red and grey but even though bright red is quite Christmassy, I just thought I'm not going to use that any other time of year and grey would go with our colours in the kitchen but then again it's not very Christmassy. So I just picked up this like, I think it's like a one time use thing or you could use it more than once if you know you don't get it dirty. I picked up a plain white one and then I also picked up a Christmassy one with like holly and stars and I think it matches the merry and bright plates. And then last but not least, I picked up some Christmas crackers. These are Asda's premium crackers. So yeah, they include a gift, a hat, and a little, well it says motto. I thought usually it's like a joke or something, isn't it? But yeah, they are super cute as well. 
So I picked up those and they were literally like five pounds and white and gold and I thought that they would look lovely to set up the Christmas table. I may show you the IKEA bits a bit later, but yes, that is everything I think I wanted to show you now and I've probably spoken for about 10 minutes. So let's get into the rest of the video. I'll probably just pop you on some time lapses and then pick you back up later. So that is the living room all done nice and clean and I've sorted through the presents under the tree and I've got maybe one or two extra bits to get for people but yeah living room tick now moving on to the dreaded kitchen Hello, so I'm just checking in on this cleaning vlog to say that I stopped and had Oh, sorry I stopped and had um, some kind of lunch snack thing and I just watched a video on YouTube because I'm exhausted I am exhausted but yes, I've cleaned the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom and the bathroom so all that's left is literally what I'm calling the room of doom at the minute um I've probably mentioned this in a previous vlogmas video but basically that room is ridiculous is ridiculous it's basically a shit tip and I'm too embarrassed to even show you because you literally can barely even see the floor and I've been putting it off for like over a month maybe even longer than that which is really bad and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse but I finally have a reason to actually clean it because Idris's mum is coming on Thursday and needs the bed to sleep in and yeah right now you can't see the bed either because of my clothes and she wouldn't be able to walk there because of the floor so kind of embarrassing but I'm just trying to find the motivation to actually get in there and clean. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and find a playlist on Spotify, get my speaker on and yeah, get cracking. Then I'm off later on. Um, I am wanting to go back to, I am wanting to go to Asda because I have some things that I need to return and I would like to go to Meadowhall and do the last, Meadowhall is my shopping centre and do the last bit of the Christmas shopping but it's already 20 past four and like that room's literally going to take me forever so I don't know if I'll get to Meadowhall or Asda today but we can try but yes as I said Idris is actually out on like a guys drinking thing today and with my dad but it's in Doncaster not in Sheffield so it's like half an hour 40 minutes away so he will actually need pe picking up so I'm going around to my mum's to have dinner with her this evening 
like seven, half seven ish, and then we're gonna, Mum's gonna drive us over to Doncaster and pick the pick Idris and my dad up, and then I will drive me and Idris home. He will be, I'm guessing, a little bit drunk. But yeah, that's the plans for for the rest of my evening. I will, I don't know. I'll probably pick the camera up as and when I can, but. As I said, vlogging does make things, uh, d yeah, does make things take longer. So I'll probably just pop you on time lapses again, but not initially whilst I'm in my room because, as I said, I'm quite embarrassed to show it. Anyway, enough procrastinating from me, and I will see you in a little bit. So I've <clears throat> managed to have a visible floor in this room and please don't look at my forehead. I've cleared off um, the spare bed apart from these two things. I've cleared it off of clothes and now they're in piles on the floor, sorted them out, jumpers, bottoms, tops. And I just thought I'd show you that I picked up these two of these ikea storage boxes and yeah basically i just didn't have enough clothes storage i've got one wardrobe here two drawers in the drawer in my bedroom a rail and yeah that's just not enough so just as a temporary solution i've just picked up these storage um boxes bag things and i'm just gonna put my clothes in there Basically, I just need to do a big clear out of all my clothes because I wear hardly, I wear, I probably don't even wear half of them, but I have this problem where I'll go to sort through my clothes and then I'll pick up something and be like, okay, I've probably not worn that in six months, but I might need it if I go on a hike to, sorry, I just ran out of storage and kind of now forgot what I was saying, but basically I'm going to pack my clothes away into these stories boxes and then I'll sort through my stuff. Oh, that's what I was saying. I have this thing where when I go through my clothes, I pick something out and think, I've not worn this in six months, but I'm probably going to need it if I ever hike Kilimanjaro. That's my mentality. So yeah. Thanks, Whitney. But I'm hoping that um, when we get our next place, we'll have more storage. But yeah, I do need to find a temporary solution so that's these so i finished as much as i'm going to do in the spare bedroom today it's basically done i just need to do the desk and strip the bed and remake it so it's all ready for thursday but yes um i am all cleaned out i've literally been cleaning the for like I don't know three four hours about three hours I'd say because I did take a bit of a break in between but yeah I am literally wiped out so it's now six o'clock and as I said before I'm supposed to be going to my mum's for about seven half seven so I'm just gonna get myself ready to leave now and gonna pop into Asda see how long it takes me in there and then I may or may not go to Meadow Hall if not, I may just go to mum's and I'll pick the camera back up, probably when we're having dinner. So I'm just getting ready, finishing getting ready to go out and I've just put this like woolen hairband on to try and cover that mountain on my forehead. But I just wanted to show you my new coat that I picked up. Here's my new coat from Primark. Lovely long line puffer coat, nice hood and keeps me so warm. I think it was about £35. And even though it just says it's like a football manager coat, I really like it. I probably look a bit crazy now with this headband on, but who cares? I'm off out to Aston now. So I've just got back in the car and ow, I've um, just done my return as Asda and now I'm going to head, oh you can see that head straight to my mum's um, I haven't really got time to go to middle hall and if I'm honest I'm pretty tired so yeah just gonna drive now to my mum's
Dinner from Mum. Mum Zela. Hello and welcome back. Um, it's now the next day. It's now Sunday and I can't quite remember what I left the vlog on yesterday. I think I may have filmed some clips of us going to pick up my... Um, yeah, I think I may have pick, um, filmed some clips of going to pick up my dad and, my, and Idris from the pub where they'd met my granddad and yeah my granddad was out last night as well um they kind of like met him at a pub near his house and yeah we spent about an hour in the pub um with them and some of my mum's cousins and it was actually really nice it was really nice like warm atmosphere people were singing karaoke just having a good old saturday night so yeah we just came home and then we well, actually went back to my mum's um I had a cup of tea, my brother and his girlfriend were there and we just sat and we ate some sweets or chocolates and yeah, it was a nice evening. Um, I drove back and it was definitely after midnight when we got home, so we were pretty tired. This morning we went to Morrison's Cafe for a fry up, which I think I got a clip of as well, and then we just went to Aldi to do our Christmas food shop. Yes, our Christmas food shop. I did want to take you there and film some clips, but it was so busy and I just was feeling a little bit anxious. So I just wanted to get in and get everything done. And um, me and Idris just wanted to get in and out. And yeah, now we're back at the flat. We've, we're sorry. We've carried the shopping up of the stairs and now I'm gonna sit and put it all away. I think Idris is gonna help me as well and I thought I'd just pop on here and yeah just let you know what we've been up to and I think I might um, do a little Christmas food shop haul obviously yesterday I spoke you through my Christmas shopping list we basically got everything apart from we still need stuff for the starter like the Thousand Island dressing sauce oh gosh um, lemons and iceberg lettuce there's a few things that like the dates weren't very great so we need to pick them up a bit closer to Christmas Day but yes that's a bit of an overview of what I've been up to since I last spoke to you and as I said I'll probably pop back on and do a mini Christmas food shop haul so I just thought it would be easier just to go through the bags whilst I'm sat down so we picked up some shortbread which my mum will be very happy about because basically I've just been stealing all my mum's shortbread biscuits um, then we also got boring stuff, parsnips, and Albert Bartlett potatoes, I think that's it, Albert Bartlett potatoes for roasting, um, what do we get in this bag? Oh, we picked up like Carrots, two bags of carrots, a two things of broccoli, a cabbage and a cauliflower. They're in the bag so I don't need to get them out. Then we also picked up some large king prawns because we're doing prawn cocktail for whoever wants that. So I picked up some large prawns which I already just said. Then the thing I'm most excited about because I've never bought them like this a whole thing of sprouts sprouts I don't know what you call this a sprig a stem but yeah that's gonna be fun preparing then we also picked up a selection of crisps so we've got lightly salted sea salt and chardonnay vinegar and mature cheddar and red onion they're just this is ones. We also picked up a cheese selection with all different cheeses, obviously. We then got some mince pies. I don't like mince pies, but maybe 
someone will. I think my mum does, my dad does, I think. Maybe Idris's mum. Um, we also got some wasim because this is the best cheese ever. I picked up some sour cream and chive pretzels. Some crackers, biscuits for the cheese. And most exciting for our Christmas Eve, we picked up a Bailey's Yule Log and then just your standard festive Yule Log, which Idris is very excited about this Bailey's Yule Log. I'm not sure if there's much else. Oh, a savoury snack mix. Uh, broccoli, I already said. Picked up some caramelised onion chutney to go with the cheese and crackers. Um, stuffing mix. We've got like seasonings. It just wanted to pick up two different types of gravy granules. I'm not really sure why, but we weren't going to argue in the shop, so we got those. Um, picked up some double cream to go with the Yule logs and I think yes there was also a Bailey's salted caramel one which looks insane so we picked up one of those um, another bag of quality streets to top up our tin which I will do in a minute Idris popped in some matchmakers because I love those and so does he I did pick up a little present for somebody as well, but obviously I can't show that. We then also picked up celebrations. Obviously we've got quality streets, but we thought we'd have another. Sorry, it cut off again, but yeah, we picked up some celebrations because we thought it would be nice to have options. And... Then all that's really left, I think, is just like the drinks so like coke fanta lemonade and we just need to pop tomorrow and get the dandelion and burdock but that's basically everything that we picked up for the christmas food shop and i think it's basically done i'm just hoping that we actually managed to pick up things for um to eat this week as well but we do have quite a lot of food in so i'm sure we'll be fine but yeah i think that is going to go ahead and end this vlogmas video episode five i'm hoping that i will have some more videos this next week in the lead up to christmas day but if not then i just want to wish you all a very merry christmas and a happy new year but i'm pretty sure i'll see you beforehand but just in case i just thought i would say that but yeah thank you for all your support this year and i'm looking forward to what this next year brings and i'm hoping to bring you along on our exciting journey there's something that we've not actually told you yet, which we should hopefully be able to share in the new year. And then, of course, I'm getting married next year as well. So, yeah, we've got an exciting year ahead. So just looking forward to having some time off over the Christmas and New Year period to spend with family and spend some time with Idris. But yeah, that's enough from me today, I think. I shall hopefully see you before Christmas. But if not, of course, have a lovely day. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at wit.style. And of course, I would love to see you over there. Enjoy your festive period and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.